hello guys welcome to today's tutorial in this tutorial today i will be teaching you how to include naira symbol in microsoft word and i will also be teaching you how to find other currency symbol in microsoft word so if you have not subscribed to this channel please subscribe to this channel if you check my channel there are other useful content that you'll be benefiting from so without wasting your time at all i've seen some where they want to type naira in word document they type like this, okay, like this first one I'm having here. They type 500,000 Naira, for instance. They type 500 and put N in front like this instead of including this Naira symbol here. So this is exactly what you'll be learning in this tutorial, how to make it like this instead of this first one. Okay, so let me use this first one as an example or let me retype, okay. So if, uh, for instance, I want to, I want to write 200,000 Naira, for instance, 200 to 3, okay, half comma here, then I will include my hand here, capital letter N, then I will select the letter N, then come under font group here, you will see this small arrow here, click on it, then it will bring up this. Or if you can use your shortcuts by pressing Ctrl D on your keyboard. So if you press Ctrl D, your Ctrl key and D on your keyboard, it will bring this pop-up window. Then you will see strike through, double strike through, superscript and subscript. So what you really need here is the double strike. So click on the double strike, but make sure before you go to this pop-up window make sure that what you want to double strike is selected okay so then you can click on okay so as you can see right here that n has been double striked which is now the symbol of naira quickly if you want to insert other currency symbols you can go under insert tab here then you come to the top right corner you will see this symbol here then click on the symbol then you can see we have euro sign, we have UN sign, you have pound signs and other signs. So you can click on more symbols here. You will see other symbols that you may be needing. For instance, I want to insert a sign now. I can click on the sign. So after clicking on the sign, I'll click insert. You can see it. It is inserted. Then I can close this window. And if I want to add figure, I can add figure the way I want. Alright, that will be all for this tutorial. See you in my next tutorial.